Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another Transformers video review. Today we have the Transformers Legacy uh, DK2 Agard from, uh, this was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Um, I got it from somebody else. It is still sealed, but I have a small issue. There is something shaking around in there, so I'm a little worried. But yes, it is sealed. It hasn't been opened up. Um, but I am a little concerned about that shaking in there. So I decided that I would open this one right away. Uh, I had other things I wanted to open first. But I figured we'd open this one right away. Just to see if we can... Uh, hopefully it's not broken or anything. If it is, then... Uh, I guess I'll call Hasbro and see if they can do anything about that. But otherwise, well, let's go ahead and open up DK2 Guard, a.k.a. Black Ironhide, and see what we got. I've been wanting this figure since it came out, and just never got around to getting it, but I happened to see it today when I was out and about and decided, what the heck, let's go for it. So, <clears throat> here it is. And part of his foot has, or his foot has just come off. So, um, it looks like it just pops back into place, so I don't think that's an issue. Yay! Okay. So I don't have this mold yet. I don't have a uh, shattered glass, ratchet, um, iron hide, or regular ratchet of this mold yet. So I'm very excited to get this figure. Um... I do have the Deuceus um, drone, or whatever the heck it was called, <laughs> to uh, the, the black version of the Siege one, but not this one. But I'm going to go ahead and get him out of his uh, cardboard prison here, and uh, we'll be right back after a quick cut. All right, here he is, DK2 Guard. Uh, I don't know what his name is in my own headcanon. I'm not just going to call him um, Black Ironhide or Black Ratchet. Uh, he's going to be his own character. Obviously, he's going to be part of the Cybertronian Guard. Um, he does come with a couple of weapons. He's got this. And then he's got this fancy shield weapon that goes on his arm here boom which is pretty hefty shield it's really thick um but it doubles as a gun it's got four things here that look blast compatible let me see let me pull out a blast effect here uh let's go with something small here we go that'll work let's see if this is blast compatible and uh, it is boom obviously I don't think I could fit four of the same one in there but it is blast compatible and that's awesome so yay look at that <laughs> and to top it all off if he's holding this in shield mode <clears throat> well or regular mode you can um, attach the gun to what would be the roof of the vehicle in, in alt mode and have yet another gun, which I believe that's also blast compatible. So, yay! This is really cool. Um, his foot did go back on and it went on, uh, pretty snug. So I'm not sure how it came off in the first place. So there's that. Let's check all the articulation. Like I said, I've never had this mold before, so I'm really excited about it. Um, it does seem kind of kibbly. I see a lot of... Whoops, that just popped off. I see a lot of panels folded around. So, you know, but that makes sense. Um, he does look nice, though. I do like the way he looks. Um, my only disappointment is that they couldn't add this to him a little more. This uh, red, yellow, and gold uh, pinstriping. Which, uh, <clears throat> you can see it on the panel here. And you can see the gold and black instead of the red. And the, it's missing the red and yellow in the middle there. But anyway, <clears throat> he's got full 360 rotation in the shoulders. He's got 
full 360 rotation in the head. He is not on a ball joint. He's just on, I'm assuming, a tea peg or a mushroom peg. He can put his arms up that far. Boom. So a little more than 90 degrees on the shoulder, which is pretty cool. He's got 90 degree elbow tilt. He's got bicep swivel. His hands are on mushroom pegs as well. He's got full 360 waist rotation. Yay. He can do the splits more than 180 degrees. He can kick this far forward, this far back, and he's got 90 degree knee to bend as well as some thigh swivel. And last but not least, he's got Ankle tilt, which is good. We have ports here. We have ports here and here. We have a port on the back where you can actually store his shield when not in use. A port on the shield. And uh, ports on the side of each leg as well. So he, you can load him out with all the armor and weapons from the armorizers, fossilizers, weaponizers, however you want to do it. Now we got the 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 rock lords coming up too so you'll be able to put rock armor all over them as well so woohoo yay all the options oh and don't forget our junkions that we got going on right now in the uh, legacy evolution line legacy evolution is that it yeah legacy evolution we've got the stunticons so or not the stunticons <laughs> the, the, the junkions so yeah anyway <clears throat> i do love this i wish i had better lighting because uh I wish I had a white background. I need to set up my shadow box. So this is a really small uh, light box, though. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and transform him into vehicle mode. And we'll be right back after another quick cut. So stick with me, and thanks for watching so far. Be right back. And we're back. I messed up one little thing. And I'm sure everyone has seen this. I'm sure it's the same on the other two molds. but Or other three times they've used this mold. But these actually pop out. Boom. So you've got larger, larger cannons and more likely to be able to fit all of the, uh, come on, focus, <laughs> all of the uh, blast effects in those holes. So there is that. And uh, yeah, I forgot that. So anyway, now we will go back to be right back. <laughs> be, be right back. I'm sorry. I really suck at this. All right, here is DK2 Guard in his vehicle alt mode. And this is nice. So I see why the uh, red and yellow did not transfer over to that extension there, because it adds some dashes there to make it look like it becomes smaller and smaller until it disappears. So there is that. Unfortunately, he's got the, uh, you can see my feet in the back syndrome that this mold does have, but other than that, this looks pretty sleek, except for this red bit right here. If they had made this piece of plastic black instead of red, that would have been perfect for the front. Um, now, I don't know if I can still get the upgrade kit or if they made the upgrade kit for this guy, but there is an upgrade kit to add to the roof so that in robot mode, this looks more like the original uh, bay skiff thing that the G1 toys of Ratchet and Ironhide had. So I'm going to have to look into that and get that if I can, because it, it just adds a bunch of hardware to the roof, and there's like some, uh, some treads to make it look like the original skiff, and it's really cool. There is one thing I forgot to mention uh, for this, and I'm going to go ahead and take the roof off here. Once again, <clears throat> comes off pretty easy. I'm trying to be careful though, because it connects in like um, four different spots. Why is it stopped? It was coming off and then it stopped. Come on, there we go. Okay, so see, so it connects with these four pegs right here into these four pegs on his arms. But <clears throat> the instructions show folding these all out like this. And putting this gun here, like this, whoops, 
<laughs> putting the gun right there and sliding that open to make this the battle skiff that the original G1 toy had. Now, the upgrade kit that I've seen attaches something here and I think to these two little pegs here to uh, make it raised a little so it looks more like it's on on treads or something instead of, I guess this is just supposed to look like a little hover skiff or surfboard I don't know what this is supposed to look like <laughs> but <clears throat> other than that uh, I think this is a really cool figure so I am pretty happy with my purchase I'm glad that it wasn't broken yay for that <laughs> And, uh, yeah, this is really cool. Oh, I didn't mention either, uh, in the original part, but his, uh, gun has, uh, um, ports on the sides, so you can add yet more weaponry to this guy, which is really cool. Uh, I think it's very befitting of uh, Arm Ironhide, who's the, uh, you know, the weapons guy in the, uh, in the the Transformers universe, at least one of them. <laughs> but anyway, this has been my DK2 guard uh, review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment down below, thumbs up, all that good stuff. If you really like my videos and you're not already, please subscribe. It's completely free for you to do, and it helps me grow my channel. I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, yeah, that all having been said, until next time, as usual, be kind happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, and when you go out, please be safe. Bye, everybody. Bye.